From Asaba, we head to Lagos, southwest Nigeria, where filmmakers across Africa and beyond have converged for the seventh installment of the annual African International Film Festival. The opening ceremony, which drew in top Nollywood acts and government officials, screened the critically acclaimed Zambian movie, I Am Not a Witch, on its opening night. <laughs> After the meet and greet between filmmakers across Africa and beyond on the red carpet, the opening ceremony of the seventh edition of the Africa International Film Festival kicked off on a serious note with the screening of the critically acclaimed Zambian movie I Am Not a Witch, which chronicles the unfortunate chain of events that follow the false accusation of an eight year old of witchcraft. <laughs> Which naming, especially as concerns young children, has become a big problem in some rural part of Akwaibom state. The immediate past governor of the state and now the serving senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Gatwil Akbabio, hails the boldness of the filmmakers in daring to tackle a big society challenge. Starting which, I am not a wish. It's something that has thrown me off balance. When I was invited, I said I hope my small appearance on CNN did not mean that I have been never one of those uh, wizards. Ah. And, and I said no, I must come here and clear my name and also clear the name of my state. The reality is that yes, not just in Aquaibo, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, in many parts of the world, the issue of witchcraft has continued for centuries. And I believe that with this film, we are drawing a very good, strong global attention to something we think should be eliminated all over the world. <coughs> I was shocked in 2008 when a young man called Gary Foxtrot came to me with a group of children and I did not quite understand what he was talking about. Then he now told me that there were children from a certain center and they were thrown away by their parents on account of uh, witchcraft. They were accused of being witches and wizards and then they were taken into one center in a But what we are faced with is that your film is now drawing serious international attention. There is, it is a, it's a truism that the issue of child risk stigmatization does exist in Nigeria. It wasn't in such proportion as I pointed out. It is also true that some children are thrown out of home, sometimes because of poverty, not necessarily because they are accused of witchcraft. That is the truth about it. You have child destitutes. You are, it's also true that children, some children, out of mental issues, run away from their homes and then people are not aware. The Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Lai Mohammed, acknowledged the giant strides made by the industry as he also revealed government's plans to catalyze growth within the industry. Let me make a kind of confession. I always feel especially proud whenever I'm in the midst of movie makers because the movie industry as we have it in Africa today, was inspired largely by Nigeria's own Hollywood. Kindly indulge me to be slightly immodest, but seriously speaking, that the government of Nigeria is proud of Hollywood and is constantly engaging stakeholders towards the industry. I will reiterate a few of the initiatives we are pursuing. We are pursuing single-digit interests and loans for infrastructural development for the industry. We are supporting the building of 100 community cinemas with evil spread across the country. I was overhearing the conversation between Mr. Wigui and Mr. Jopino and that between the entire country today, we have only 129 
cinema house. That is just not acceptable. We are almost closing on a world class pre and post production facility using the current IT infrastructure with a few additions. We want to ensure that in the focus on studio facilities, we ensure one is located in every geopolitical zone of this country. The festival this year accepts entries from outside Nollywood, according to the programmer Afi Brimo. And my hope is it would enlighten people on what is going on out there, especially with children. For the rest of the week, we have a lot of panel discussions, very interesting topics. We're screening 165 films this year. The government has a responsibility to its people to make them safe, to make them secure, to be peaceful, to be happy. If the government doesn't step in, then it's hard for filmmakers to be able to express. But the good news is, filmmakers are out there telling these stories for the people that cannot tell their own stories. And you're going to see that throughout the week with a lot of films that are focusing on very, very sensitive issues. So I'm excited that filmmakers have decided to step outside of the box to make sure that they tell the stories. Afrif 2017 will run until Saturday, November the 4th.